while out and about in Oxford, we've come across a store that we really like. But before we get too far into today's video, my name is Jordan Beck, and behind the camera is my wife, Alatra Beck, and this is Around the World of Beck. We make videos about our travels through Europe and just fun things that we try throughout England. So if that sort of content interests you, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, the store behind us is a candy store that specializes in, well, importing American goods. And some of them are questionable. They're either too bizarre or just right. We'll be to judge that and let you guys know what we prefer at these types of stores. We see these candy stores all over the UK and occasionally we'll see them in Europe and we usually get a pretty good laugh out of them. Uh, we just like to go inside and see what their interpretation of American candies and snacks is. It's always um, a joy and brings us a little slice of home. One thing that the stores do really well though is that they have a very large variety. Yeah, and I think part of that is because this is a spot where you would find a lot of imported American goods. So they tend to flesh it out a little bit with things that like I wouldn't consider candy. You, if you go in there, you will find some of the things that we would probably consider to be just common household items, like not really sweets of any variety. So we saw a pancake mix in there, syrups for your pancakes, syrups for your drinks. Uh, cereals, Pop-Tarts, and those are just things that you would have in your house. Like no no part of me would consider that candy. It's definitely sweet and it's definitely sugary, but I wouldn't call it candy. And then another thing is uh, Kool-Aid as well, which is just like a fun drink. It's powdery. I mean, it's like 99% sugar, but fun fact, it's actually from Hastings, Nebraska, which is uh, just down the road from where we're from. You also find very uncommon things that I don't know who thought it was a good idea to combine said items and market, but apparently there is now a Sour Patch Jello. Not sure what that's about, but you also find things like 50 different flavors of combo, which, um, sure, I guess. Yeah, not really something that you'll see. I, I guess if you were really looking and you went to a bunch of stores, so you could find that many flavors <laughs> of combos, but it's not really like something you see on the shelves in America. And then you will also see things in these American candy stores that are just downright weird to us. Like they exist, I guess. America's a big place, but no stores are like just selling these things. Like pickles in a bag. That is something that you will see at gas stations, crummy gas stations. Nobody's buying these pickles, but I always see them in American candy stores. Another thing that drives me crazy is we always see marshmallow fluff like bright, bold center in the middle of the store on display. And it's got me thinking that British people think that Americans eat marshmallow fluff like with a spoon straight out of the jar. I don't know anybody that buys marshmallow fluff. Not even just normal marshmallows. I think really the only time that I'm like, yes, we need to consume marshmallows is it's the campfire. That's the first thing that comes to mind. And it's not like we're having campfires yeah. every week either. But just for like an occasional schmore, you will buy marshmallows. But marshmallow fluff is something that like that one aunt buys for that one recipe that she makes at like Easter. Like, but you're not just buying marshmallow fluff. But the other things we saw there was like V8 and just a big variety of drinks. Again, things I wouldn't really call sweets. And then the last thing that we saw there that just always cracks us up is how much that we see that is very America patriotic red, white, and blue. Now, you'll definitely see red, white, and blue stuff in America, especially if you're in a touristy spot, but it's more like Independence Day, 4th of July marketing. I like, I don't I, buy Captain Crunch that's red, white, and blue on a regular basis. No, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Swedish fish, and I have never seen red, white, and blue <laughs> Swedish fish in my own country. Why am I seeing them over here in this American import candy store? It always cracks us up. It's a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching this very short video. Hopefully you learned something a little bit about Americans' perspective on American candy stores. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to us. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.